Now, we all knew that this day was coming as soon as we found out that this season they were going to be adding yet another arc wave frame grenade launcher. A lot of us were like, yo, why not a new solar wave frame with incandescent, especially this season with how insanely powerful the seasonal artifact is, especially for anything solar related. On top of that, we've had forbearance in the game since March of 2022, and you can make a very good argument that that is the best legendary weapon in the game. Now, I don't want to spend too much time in this video talking about forbearance, However, this weapon is just going to naturally be compared to it, so it's going to be mentioned a decent little bit throughout this video. Now, of course, the weapon that we are talking about today is going to be none other than the undercurrent grenade launcher added this season. And right now, this week, up until Tuesday, you can go ahead and run Nightfalls and get this weapon to drop for you, as this is the weekly Nightfall weapon. I Meaning you can also get an adept version of it if you are running Grandmasters, which, hey, this week, double Vanguard rev and double nightfall reward so it's actually some pretty decent bang for your buck for running some nightfalls this week new weapon lots of resources in rep now on top of this weapon already being an arc wave frame grenade launcher you're going to see in the purple and the origin trades that this weapon has access to what makes it almost forbearance but not quite forbearance you feel me so here's the perk pool and at face value there are some good stuff here right in the third column of course, tried and true, live from gold, the one and only. You get special ammo when picking up a heavy brick. We like to see that. Good old field prep is here as well for extra ammo reserves and fast reload while crouched. One of the perks that makes for Baron so prevalent is also in this third column, Ambitious Assassin. As with wave frames, this will allow you to very consistently have a two round mag up, especially with how strong wave frames are, being able to shoot two shots of it back to back is very very good and then the other really really good perk in column three is going to be none other and good old demolitionist baby get some grenade energy on kills and whenever you eat the grenade you're going to skip the reload eat a grenade skip the reload overall it's a pretty good third column my guy ambitious assassin demolitionist left from gold field prep all of them really good perks now and the fourth column, you're going to see that this weapon is lacking what makes for Baron so gosh darn strong. At least its main component of it is the lack of chain reaction. It is not in this fourth column. Another reason why this gun is almost for Barons, for Barons Jr., whatever nickname you want to give it. We have Forbearance at home, but this weapon does have something that Forbearance does not have, which is Volt Shot, which in terms of just sheer ad clearing capabilities is not going to be nearly as good as chain reaction is however it can still be pretty decent pretty sure this is going to be one of the main perks that people are looking to have on this wave frame this will also allow you to jolt enemies and jolt has inherent stunning capabilities for overload champions which is always going to be useful in activities where you're facing those types of enemies one for all can be very nice and easy to proc because this is a wave frame giving you a 35 percent damage increase for 10 seconds i think bait and switch is more so eye candy on this perk pool since this weapon doesn't have any way to auto load it and that max you can have on it's going to be two and you need to take at least one shot to proc bait and switch that means you're going to have to have at least two in the mag to even get a bait and switch out my main point being is that i don't think bait and switch is actually going to be a good choice on this weapon to use i think you're definitely better off with volt shot or one for all last perk i would recommend talking about or even giving time to talk about in this fourth column is going to be adrenaline junkie another way to get yourself a damage buff it can stack up to 33 percent and getting a grenade kill will completely max out adrenaline junkie at times five for you and it's also pretty easy to just mow down a lot of lower tier enemies with the wave frame at base so hey adrenaline junkie on here might not be so bad guy could be pretty darn good all right so another component that makes this gun so similar to forbearance and why it's going to be compared to it at least another reason as to why is because of its two origin traits that you have access to you have stunning recovery honestly you're not going to use that one you're going to use the other one which is vanguard's vindication final blows of this weapon grant a small amount of health weapon kills restore 7 hp is that just not a worse version of soul drinker yeah it is because for soul drinker or proc you just have to get hits that's it you don't need to even defeat the enemy with the weapon just tagging an enemy on a weapon with soul drinker is going to heal you on the reload so if you put all of that together what are you left with 
Well, you are left with whatever nickname you want to give this gun related to forbearance. Although, I do at least want to say that Volt Shot on an arc specific type of build could be pretty darn good. In the background gameplay, you're seeing me use it with the Fallen Sunstar exotic helmet for the Warlock. You can go for Electrostatic Mine as an arc aspect for your subclass and then make use of spark of ions spark of shock and you're just all of a sudden jolting everything all over a place and collecting so many ionic traces and this weapon having volt shot definitely helps out with that creating even more ionic traces as you have just another form and way of jolting targets so i at least wanted to give this weapon its own credit in something that forbearance can't do Given it, it is very niche, but hey, in a build like this, it works really, really well. And I don't want to just spend this entire video trying to say that this weapon is bad, even though there is directly a better version of it. So we had to give this thing its own credit and something only it can do. Now let's talk about some positives to this weapon, right? I think the biggest selling point to this weapon is actually going to be to people that don't even have forbearance, right? As we know, a decent amount of this game's community does not participate in the higher end of PvE content, whether it's GMs, raids, or dungeons. Although primarily raids because you need six people to, excuse me, you do not need six people to do raids. But if you are someone who's newer to the game and have never done one, and you don't have any friends to help you, it could definitely feel like you're just left in a pickle and struggling to get raid weapons and those raid weapon patterns. Although keep in mind, this season, they did add Fire Team Finder to try and help out with that. So if you are a person who does not raid at all, bada bing, bada boom, you have the closest possible thing to a forbearance that you can get in the undercurrent grenade launcher. Although keep in mind, if you don't have a forbearance or the forbearance pattern, you just do one roll checkpoint every week for five weeks. Maybe like 15 minutes at max a week. And within five weeks, a month basically, you'll have a forbearance pattern. Just saying it's not as difficult as it may seem. Just saying. Just saying. That being said, I would still definitely much rather have an updated solar wave frame with incandescent this season than the undercurrent that we got. However, we do officially now have a wave frame in the game with Volt Shot, and it can be useful in some niche scenarios. Not better than the forbearance, but definitely not bad either. And also keep in mind that this week, with it being double rewards and double rep, you'll be getting a decent amount of Vanguard Ingrams just by leveling up your Vanguard rank, having a decent amount of undercurrent drops at the end of your Nightfall runs. And overall, if you want to get a good roll of this waveframe, this is the week to go ahead and do it. You just have way too many things working in your favor. So if you want the Volchot waveframe, this is the week to do so. Let me know your favorite roll for this weapon down in the comments below, as well as how you feel about this whole undercurrent for Baron's conversation that's been kind of flowing around the community since this weapon dropped thank you so much for watching the video you guys take care consider subscribing we'll see your beautiful faces in the next one adios